hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of b if we have b to the power of 4 divided by b cube is equals to 0 and we solve this problem for all the values of b so here first we need to find all the roots of this equation and at the last we will be verify that which of the roots are solution of this equation and which of the roots are extraneous root Further, we solve this problem for two methods. I hope so. You like both of these two methods, but if you have any other method in your mind, so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section. And uh, here in the first method, we need to focus into the numerator term, and the numerator term is b to the power of 4. And we write this b to the power of 4 as b to the power of 3 plus 1 divided by b cubed and this whole equation is equals to zero and now here further in the next step we need to use the nice uh, exponential law you know about that if we have a to the power of m plus n is equals to a to the power of m multiplied by a to the power of n so <clears throat> according to this rule of exponents uh, we will break these two exponents and it will be written as b to the power of 3 multiplied by b to the power of 1 divided by b cubed and this whole equation is equals to 0 and now you see here this b cubes is b cubed is lies on both of these two terms numerator as well as denominator so we need to cancel out these two terms and after cancellation of these two terms, we will get here b to the power of 1 or we write it as simply b is equals to 0. So this is the only one root which we get here in the first method. <clears throat> and now here in the next step, we need to verify that is this value of b is satisfied our given question statement or not. So for verification we need to copy down given question statement here and the given question statement is b to the power of 4 divided by b cubed and this whole equation is equals to 0. And here we verify the value of b uh, and now here first I can explain the difference between solution and extraneous root. So you know about that uh, the roots which is satisfied over given equation is called the solution and the roots which are, which does not satisfy our given equation is called the extraneous root so here we check that is our b is the solution or extraneous root so for this we substitute it into the left hand side and it will be written as 0 to the power of 4 divided by 0 cubed is equals to 0 and now you see here <clears throat> 0 to the power of 4 is equals to 0 and 0 cubed is also equals to 0 and this is equals to 0 and now you see here in the left hand side 0 over 0 is usually called that it is the uh, indeterminate form okay so uh, our 0 over 0 form be the indeterminate form or in other words we just say that it is undefined so if our left hand side is undefined so this means that both of the sides are not equal and if both of the sides are not equal uh, this concludes that the value of b is equals to 0 does not satisfy our given question statement so if uh, it is does not satisfy our given question statement uh, as i can uh, uh, write the difference between solution and extraneous root so you know that uh, if b equals to 0 is not satisfied so we call that uh, it is the extraneous root so we call b equals to 0 be the extraneous root of the given equation okay so you see here we cannot get any other value of b which is satisfied our given question statement uh, so we call that we cannot uh, have solution of this equation or in other words we just say that this equation has no solution okay so this is the final conclusion about solution of this problem in first method and now we again solve this problem for a second method and in second method uh, we need to again copy down given question statement here so that our given question statement is b to the power of 4 divided by b cubed is equals to 0 
so here we use uh, another exponential law so you know about this law if we have a to the power of m divided by a to the power of n is equals to here uh, you just move uh, the smaller term towards the bigger term so it means that if our uh, m is greater than n if m is greater than n then we move this n towards m and it will be written as a to the power of m minus n so according to this rule of exponents here uh, you see that on both of these two exponents 3 be the smaller exponent so we move this 3 towards 4 and it will be written as b to the power of 4 minus 3 and this whole equation is equals to 0 and now you see that 4 minus 3 becomes 1 and we get b is equals to 0 so if b equals to 0 uh, so this means that uh, this is the only one root of the given equation which we get here from second method but in the first method uh, we already verify that uh, b equals to 0 is not satisfied our given question statement uh, so we call b equals to 0 be the extraneous root uh, because it does not satisfy our given question statement and so i can explain uh, this in first method so finally we conclude about that this question has no solution because we cannot get any value of b which is satisfied our given question statement so this is our final conclusion and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos